Radical expansion is happening for you now. You are reconnecting to your highest multidimensional selves, your highest dimensional selves, your oversouls, your higher selves. And for many of you guys, this um, radical expansion that's been taking place and is taking place has been quite uncomfortable. There's been many detours and roadblocks, but you have navigated beautifully. And this is a time where this radical expansion and spiritual acceleration plays in your favor. It always has played in your favor, but at times it has felt like it has not. Like what is happening? And why is this happening to me? And all the things. You have very rare gifts and a very high level soul mission here. Many of us are here for soul missions, light work, healing, expansion. But there are some who hold extreme double missions to lead the way and to help others. This is a time to trust in your gifts. And some people may go, this is, this is, this is too much. This is radical. This is radical. Not radical, like cool, like radical, like like um, uh, like rebellious energy, you know, like a rebel energy, like you don't you do not conform. This is too much. That's what I'm getting. This is too much. So people, there's a suppression of your gifts through lifetimes where people have judged you upon this, right? So there's an underlying fear for some of you guys to really step into this radical expansion, to embrace this radical expansion, to embrace these radical gifts that you carry and hold and these wisdoms and knowledges that are within the soul and the heart. You have crazy rare gifts. It's all about uniqueness. Yes. Can everyone connect to their psychic abilities? Yes. Can everyone connect to their intuition? Yes. Can everyone connect to their empathy? Yes. Telepathy, so on and so forth. Yeah. But some, some of these gifts in some individuals on a soul level are profound. They're beyond the norm of gifted. And I just keep getting like, do not be afraid of this radical expansion that is happening in your life. You may feel like you're being like stretched thin or like pulled thin or in many directions all at once. This is about coming back to center, which is something that you've mastered. You are a master meditator. You are a master channeler. It's time to remember your rare radical gifts and to share them with the world. You are not here to live a mundane life. You are not here to make mundane money. You are not here to experience mundane love or mundane partnerships. You are not here to have a mundane business or a mundane career. You are here to break out of the mold and to rise to the highest of high. And this is what's happening right now. Radical expansion is happening for you. As within, so without. You've been radically expanding within and now your reality is expanding radically without. Outside, it shows up. So let's see what the Oracle wants to say today. If you guys are new here, welcome in mi amores. I send love to each and every one of you and I thank you, thank you, thank you. Have so much gratitude and appreciation from the bottom of my heart and my soul that you are here with me now. It is not an accident that you are tuning into this message. Even if you've been following the channel and you watch a lot of the readings, it doesn't matter. If it calls you in, it's for you. 
time to step in and embrace your radical gifts of transformation, your radical gifts of way showing, your radical gifts of seeing and healing and teaching and writing and singing and all the things. That is what new earth is. Are you kidding me, you guys? Aditi, thank you, goddess Aditi. Look at, what was the channeled message? Look at this, and, and look at this like big scratch, you guys. Shh, my kitty got me, so. Yeah. <laughs> I need to cut his, I need to cut his little claws. But anyways, the channeled mes message was expansiveness. You're radically expanding. Your consciousness is radically expanding. There's spiritual acceleration on fleek right now. And your gifts are radically expanding and opening very quickly because it's time to use them. It's time to share them. It's time to shine that beautiful, beautiful, rebellious, radical light. And it's, it's rebellion in the highest and greatest good of all. It's rebellion against the systems. It's rebellion against the matrix. It's rebellion against conformity. It's rebellion against generational patterns and toxic ways and family judgments and family conformities and this is how we do things or this is how society does things. It's time. Radical expansion is happening upon earth. That's why we are seeing the earth in the state that it is in because the light has risen and you are that light. Expand your consciousness. First card out. Thank you, Goddess Aditi. Thank you, Spirit Angels Guides. Ah, oh, all of my all of my spirit guides and angels of the highest white light and decree. Look at Amaterasu. No more hiding. No more hiding. No more dimming your light. This is about taking your gifts, your creations, your passions, and blasting them out to the world, sharing them to the world, and go, I don't care if this if this sounds funny or looks weird or if people say things, okay? Like, take it from me. I'm out here on platforms. Like, I'm channeling. I'm light languaging. I'm healing. I'm doing all my things that I do for my on a quantum level, on my, for my priestess path, from my many, 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 many hundreds of thousands of lifetimes and incarnations of all these years. No more hiding. Because the universe favors the brave and it's time to be courageous and brave. It's time to really shine your light, your light center that's from within. Expand your consciousness, no more hiding. There's the message right here. First two cards out here. No more dimming your light around your parents or family members who are asleep and not awakened because they don't understand. Our job is not to convince people. Our job is not trying to, you know, we aren't, it's not like, you know, um, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say certain structures that have been put in place in this world. It's all about, um, you know, the conformity and that's <laughs> keeping people stuck with their wheels spinning. And it's just like generational curses, you know, patterns or whatever. We're not here to convince others or say, oh, come to the enlightened side. No, because that's not something you can do. It's not something that can be, you know, um, manipulated in that way. It has to be about divine timing when someone is ready for their awakening. All we can do is hold space and be loving and compassionate and kind to others who are still in the lower consciousness because they don't know any better, you know? It's like the same as like, you know, getting mad at a toddler that like does something, but it's like they're a toddler. They don't know what they're doing. They just, they're being a toddler. It's the same thing with a sleep consciousness. Okay. Like it's, it's time to help. It's time to help. Look at all these cars just like flew out in my lap. Like there's so many of them. Okay, Mary Magdalene came out kind of flu by herself, sacred marriage. She has with her the Ankh power. A channeled mantra that I received 
from my higher selves and spirit team, my past selves, for the Ankh to invoke the Ankh magic and power and protection is Aha Mana, Aha Mana, Aha Mana. I was guided to share this with everyone. Um, I, I mean, I just, I shared it already on the channel and stuff. You say it three times and then, and so it is. Wearing the Ankh, connecting, but a lot of you guys, Mary Magdalene wants to mentor with you to help open you up. This is the sacred knowledge and wisdom that you, you help others come into sacred marriage with themselves. <coughs> I'm getting a lot of heart stuff like opening it's like um, the energy is like popping. So it's like as I'm channeling and connecting with the collective energy, which is you, I'm helping to um, open your hearts. I'm helping to clear things within the heart, you know, energetically um, on that level, right? I can feel it. A lot of expansion happening in your in your consciousness, but in your heart. It's about like shining your heart light out to the world and, and, and connecting your gifts, being a high priestess. Call on Mary Magdalene. Like if she's showing up for you through readings or Oracle messages or one way or the next, you're hearing her name or the name Mary or the Magdalene's or the Rose or the Ankh or whatever, it could be her. she's trying to reach out to you to say, connect with me because I'm going to help you hone in and fine tune your gifts and your soul purpose. And I'm gonna help breathe strength into you to help you rise up to share these gifts and truths. Like, I have had many, many, many um, people in my life, you know, family, friends, people that have known me for a long time. Like when I came out of the psychic closet it was kind of a shock to people, you know, because they were like, wait, what? Like, what happened? Like, all of a sudden, she's just like this psychic medium tarot reader. <laughs> and boy, did I get the judgment. And boy, do I still get the judgy eyes and the people who don't understand. And people fear and judge what they don't know or understand. They fear what they don't know. Because people fear the unknown. So if it's unknown to them and they don't understand it, they fear it and then they project the fear onto you, which is why a lot of who's watching this message, it's it's like that is, you know, to be expected with people who don't get it. Again, it's not their fault. <laughs> like I always say, we tap our heart and we send them love. We tap our heart and we send them love. It's not my job to, it's not my concern to write to to make sure that everyone is comfortable with me <laughs> all i can do is show up and be my truest self from the heart with love and that's that right it's not our job to convince or to write please like like that is not what we're here to do so this is very clear expand your consciousness no more hiding sacred marriage you, for a lot of you guys, you're about to come into a sacred soul marriage with another soul that is not going to be hiding anymore. See, hold. Tell your truth. It's about speaking your truth to the world and most authentic. Like when you live in your truth authentically and your power, like you may get some pushback for sure. There's going to be resistance until we are fully, fully, fully like, you know, everyone on earth vibrating at the 5d level like that's just how it's going to be because we are helping to heal a dualistic world a, 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 a world that runs off of polarity and lies instead of truth and control instead of freedom in class systems instead of equality you are the truth teller you see so it's time to Tell your truth, speak your truth, and not hide these radical, beautiful gifts that bring so much light and healing and confirmation and whatever to the collective. If you're still operating in the system of 
well, this is what my family does and this is what I did and you know, I always knew it's very mundane. That's the patterns that you're here to break. And this is not a judgment because we're not here to judge. That is nobody's business. Each individual journey is personal and it's, it's up to the person going through the journey. And no one has the right ever to project or judge another. That's another negative um, fear-based attribute of this polarized world, this duality world that we are here to clear and heal. Mary Magdalene is saying, step into your power. Speak your truth, gasha sanar. The more truth you speak and the more truth you live, the more miracles, blessings, abundance, love comes to you. The more love you give to self, and others, the more love you receive. Use your psychic ability, use your oracular gifts, use your healing light and power, your Reiki, your crystal technology, your sound vibrations, the tones and chords of your throat chakra to bring forth radical change healing and transformation to Mother Gaia. And so it is. Thank you, Mary Magdalene. Rare gifts, rare gems. You wanna talk about unicorns? Unicorn magic is showing up. Unicorns, look at Isis, see? Onk, onk, look at, see? Us priestesses of the priestess path, we know. Ah, ha, mana. That is the mantra that, um, and you're not going to find that mantra anywhere else because it was specifically, like, I channeled it, right? I channeled it. You can bet your bottom dollar that when you come to this channel, all of the content created here is channeled from a higher source. It's uniquely, it's uniquely guided and divined. Divination. These were the originals, right? Like, we, we, like so many of us, we, we are the originals. We are the ascended masters walking on earth at this time. So they're here helping us in the biggest way. This is about sacred contracts, sacred marriage. Sacred, sacred. See the word sacred on both cards? You are sacred. Your gifts are sacred. Your gifts are rare. You hold wisdoms and knowledges that you've received in mystery schools, in sacred temples, in um, you've, 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 your, your, um, your soul uh, memory and, and, and DNA is embedded with these sacred codes. And they're activating now, which is that expansiveness, that radical acceleration in your spiritual growth and journey. If you feel like you're being pushed and pulled in different directions, it's because you are. It's like you're being pulled back into maybe old patterns and fear-based thinking, but you're also being pulled into your new, new version of self and who you feel you need to be and are wanting to be on a soul level, right? The world needs you. Onk medicine is going to be very powerful here if you resonate with that. I just heard the onk is a portal. The onk is a portal. Okay. A portal to greatness, a portal to healing, a portal to magic, a portal to everything. Connecting with the onk and those keepers of the onk energy and protectors of the onk energy. I love that Mary Magdalene and Isis both came out for that. I love that. Okay. So, 
let me go ahead and let's see, what do I want to grab? So this is not a very long message, guys. This is just more of like an FYI. This is more of like, right, we get, anytime I get like a really strong download or channeled message, like I have to come record it. I actually have to get going because I have a client. Look at this, excitement. See, this is about breaking out of the conventional norms. The square homes and the ticky tacky neighborhoods and the robotic ways of living and the, the, the boxes. It's about breaking out of the box, freeing your inner child. This is crazy. This reading is so dead in alignment. Okay, and when I split the deck, we have, look at that. Breaking out of the control systems, the control and the conventional ways of being. People are gonna go, that's unconventional, that's radical, that's weird. That's okay. Like like duck feathers, let that let it roll off like rain on a duck feather. Other people's opinions are none of your business. Other people's opinions don't pay your bills. Other people's opinions don't bring you love and peace. You know what I mean? This is about you breaking the control. So many people want to control you and keep you caged in, caged in. No more, no more. This is about opening. Your third eye is open. This is about enlightenment. This is about seeing through the illusions, the tricksters. We have the links right here. This is like, um, I don't know, it kind of looks like a fox, but it has like the lynx ears and the lynx represents high priestess energy. This is about your strong vision, your unique vision and holding your vision, okay? And look at, look at 1010, I just realized that, 1010, yeah. This is about the, the old, the old cycles are done, my loves. That's why there's so much expansion happening here and it can be uncomfortable for sure, okay? Spiritual growth. You know, it's just like when we, um, you know, are growing as children, right? You know how children get growing pains? Do you remember growing pains? It's growing pains, mi amores. But you keep strong, 2222, and hold that vision. Okay? Look, at, this is about some of you guys are palm readers. Some of you guys are auric field readers or healers. Some of you guys, because I said your gifts are very rare, this is a jack of all trades kind of a thing where you can do X, Y, and Z. You can do this, this, and this. All of the power, you, have, you hold so much power in your hands, okay? And this is about beyond the 3D. Look at health. You're a powerful healer, your enterprise. Some of you guys are meant to build an enterprise. Millionaire status, billionaire status. I'm telling you, this is huge. Uh, spiritual enterprises. This is the new earth, spiritual corporations, spiritual enterprises. Where we are all about the health and wealth of humanity. So much sunshine is shining down on you guys right now. Those of you guys who have held a vision, those of you guys who are out there sharing and talking and speaking, you don't have to be, um, uh, you know, some, you know, psychic medium or astrologer or something like this on YouTube or, you know, Instagram or, or you know, you could just be doing this on your own personal platforms. You could be sharing your soul gifts and wisdoms with people at work or your friends or family members. I'm hearing a lot of people say to you, I don't get it, but good for you. It's basically like people saying and, and the attitude or the energy of like, I don't understand it, but I also, you know, support you. It's kind of like that. Okay. So not that that matters, but anyways, okay. Look at this enterprise, uh, vision, power. Look at that. Look at that. You are a portal. You are a powerful portal. This is about knowing your power and, and opening portals to new timelines. This is about status. And this isn't about ego status where, oh, I need recognition and I'm doing this because I wanna be famous and na 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 this is, this is about high cosmic royalty, spiritual, you have high spiritual status. 
You are royalty in the spiritual realm, in the cosmos, in different star systems, in different times of Earth's history, ancient histories. You've held great status. Some of you guys have been emperors, empresses, kings, queens, lords, ladies, pharaohs, Pharisees. You hold great status. This is what I'm talking about. Your power is big, you guys. It's rare. It's rare. I'm telling you, especially if you're here on my channel, because I'm an ancient primordial energy for sure, for sure, for sure. And I resonate a thousand and ten percent with this message. Absolutely. But your vibe attracts your tribe. So I call in like people who are also um, a lot of people just like me on a soul level. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're ancient energies. They hold a great wisdom. They have very extreme, powerful, rare gifts. Um, they have always held, you know, extreme love in their hearts. They've always been able to see through the control tactics and the conventional ways. These are people that are, they've always seen the unconventional way. They've always seen outside the box, even while they were kept in the box, you see? So that's you, that's me, that's all of us, I'm sure. Give a like, give a comment if this is for you, mi amores. All right, let me know in the comments. I would love, love, love to connect with you and hear all about your gifts. What's coming through for you? What are you being called to? Is it the tarot? Is it crystals? Is it Reiki? Is it healing? Is it spinal energetics? Is it, you know, yoga? Is it tantric practices? Is it um, somatic energy things where you're, you're helping people open their body and, you know, emotional release, trauma? Like, what is it? Know that you're powerful and you hold great status. And as you step more into your true spiritual power and gifts and path, your status rises. There's great wealth here. Great, great, great wealth in love, in family, in uh, abundant energy, financial energy, in health, all the things, all the things. Wow. Um, and then earlier when I, I see, and it's because you had to overcome the resistance, all of these people, all of these, all of this resistance. I just did a live channeled message yesterday. If you guys want to go check it out, the live will say it's like six and a half hours because we were on for a long time, but that's because I did a collective reading for like an hour. And then the rest of the five and a half hours is all individual personal live readings for people and live heal, uh, quantum healing sessions. So if you guys want to see what that's about or check that out, um, I would love for you to, um, but if, but the, but the channeled message that I got and that I channeled yesterday was God says that you shall, that you will prevail against all resistance. And look at, look at all this here, the power, the status, the enterprise, the vision, the excitement. There's so much light around you and connected to you and backing you. Like you're riding into an exciting time of life and your gifts and your truth and living in your authentic authenticity, it brings more of all this stuff and excitement, happiness. See, you have great influence. You have great influence. I'm also getting for a lot of you guys, you do have a sacred soul contract, sacred marriage, sacred union. Um, this could be twin flame or just a very ancient past life um, soul connection that you've maybe been in connection with this person many times, a soul many times in different dimensions, star systems, um, times of earth's history, etc. It's like you and this divine counterpart, you hold great influence over the snakes of the world. Like you will help. And when I say snakes, I mean like the animal snakes I love because they are beautiful and they speak of shedding skin and transformation and it's a very earthy grounded energy and all these things, right? But I'm talking about the snakes and you guys know the snakes in the grass, the ones you got to watch out for, right? You don't even got to watch out for these snakes, by the way, because you're highly protected. You're highly favored. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. But you and this other person, as lovers, as a soul unit, connection together, you, okay, you, 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 you bring healing to the resistance out there. 
And these are your rewards for overcoming the resistance and for not falling prey to darker influences out there. And maybe you have at some point in time, these were lessons, that's okay. But now you are here, you are in your power. All right, you are fulfilling sacred contracts, working with primordial uh, energies, deities, uh, ascended masters, gods, goddesses, angels, ancestors, coming into sacred marriage with yourself, falling in love with yourself and showing others what that looks like to actually really love yourself, to actually really not be codependent and to really be authentic and living in your truth, no matter what everyone thinks and what society, you know, people shunning you or this or that, like you guys, I'm telling you, it could be difficult at first. There could be some resistance at first, but the more you stand in that truth, the more you will rise and shine and the more you will influence people in a beautiful way. And it's going to be for the highest and greatest good of all. Okay. So it's time to step into your radical gifts, your rare gifts. There's so much activating in you with, within you right now. So just be open and surrender to it. I'm ready to work with my gifts. I'm ready to expand. Call on whoever you feel called to call on, whether it's Mary Magdalene, Isis, Aditi, uh, Kwan Yin, you know, Mother Mary, Hathor, um, White Buffalo Woman. It could be anyone though. Come and work with me, mentor with me. I'm ready. Show me the way, guide me to people, information. Um, you know, um, I want to, you know, build a business, help me, um, you know, find information that will, you know, on my path to create my business or to write my book or to do this or that. And they will every single time, right? Every single time. So anyways, my loves, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I send love to each and every one of you. I thank you so, so, so much for being here. Um, if you are feeling called and you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want to connect with my gifts, um, all of the different spiritual services, reading options, etc., are down in the description box below, pricing, all of that. Just send me an email and we will get you guys set up. Um, and what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Um, I uh, have been extremely busy and just a lot has been going on. Um, but I am opening my tarot lessons. Um, this will be the third year in a row. I always open them in June, um, of each year because I don't know, I just feel people have a lot more time during the summer, especially if it's, you know, you have children, they're out of school, etc. Um, so I don't know, it just, it just worked out that way. Um, so there will be a few different, um, like bundle options for the lessons and the lessons with me are not just like learning the cards because literally anyone could just buy a tarot book and write just you could memorize it. If you can read, you can memorize, right? Um, this is about opening up your gifts, expanding your consciousness, working with your gifts, um, your psychic abilities, you know, your, your different clairs, um, all the things, right? And really channeling that and helping you channel and, and open up to your channeling and all kinds of stuff, okay? So, um, so get ready for that. Um, I also am going to be creating a flyer and post for my um, this will be my ninth portal uh, quantum healing workshop. Um, I haven't done one since the 3-3 portal in March. Um, I just, I do them when I get the divine call, when spirit comes through or deities come through or goddesses come through and they're like, okay, this, 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 this portal, we're going to do a workshop. And I love it because it just so happens that the 7-7 portal, this one's going to be huge guys. I, this is going to be, I think the most, I don't think, I know this is going to be the most powerful quantum healing workshop. And those of you guys who have been to the workshops, you know, how powerful, how activating, um, like everyone, like the feedback that we get, like, I can't even believe, I, I can't believe it. Like, it's like, you know, and, and again, I'm not a medical ex a professional. I'm not right. This is just right. Like all the things, but people have, um, shared with me testimonies of like physical pain, leaving their body, chronic pain, leaving the body. Um, you know, like blessings, just pouring in feeling light as a feather afterwards and feeling uplifted in such a big way in life afterwards. Um, people who uh, are, are working with some of the still working to this day with some of the energies, you know, and thanking me for the, it's just like wild. Okay. So there's a lot that goes into this. Um, so they're held over zoom. Um, 
I will provide more information and they are recorded. So if you can't make the live session um, on that Sunday, the 7-7 portal, it's all good because this is done on a quantum level. Um, that's the beauty of it because you can literally tune in um, at any time, watch the recording and you're gonna, it's gonna transport you like as if you were there in the space with us, okay? It's just as powerful. Um, so get ready for that, mi amores, all right? Um, I think that's it as far as the PSAs. I love you guys so much. Thank you again. It is time to rise into your high priest path, your high priestess path, and myself, and I know others out there, we are here for you, okay? And you will be guided to the ones who are going to help you, give you nuggets of information or confirmations, um, you know, so, and I appreciate you guys too, because you guys bring me so much um, confirmation and beauty in the comments too below. So anyways, have a beautiful day, mi amores. It's time to rise.